Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench with a sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. run-of-the-mill breed. We best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Thing's vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> hey! Apologies. Ha! Ha! Gladium, do it! Gotcha. <clears throat> so, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back.
There's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Time to go. Mm -hmm. Good to see you again. Please come again. You see this, Noct? What about it? the jacket.
Guys, we got a little problem over here. Cool. We'll take care of it. Deal? We're on the same page. Yeah! Nice here. Indeed. about a bite to eat. These nasties here have been a real pain in the rear. If y'all liked it, come on back. Time to go. All right. Well, I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here.
You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra, they're bringing us stuff. Atta boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh, yeah. Sill blossoms. So... I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Everything in order. Yep. All right. For our next story, Lady Lunafreya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. What's that? I do? Buzz off. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. I kind of want to go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to.
might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Huh. Huh? <clears throat> 